This is Andy Perua for Boxing Social in association with Betfred, and I'm delighted to be joined by Dalton Smith. Dalton, first and foremost, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. You know, stuck in um, quarantine here, but, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't have it any other way. I'm sure you wouldn't, mate. Obviously, it's fight week. You're one of the first guys to return on a matchroom bill. But as we know, you've just obviously got to fight camp uh, a matter of hours ago. Just talk to me about kind of the process you've been through from the moment of your arrival. Um, to, to be honest, it's what I expected. You know, we put we, we arrived, offloaded all as, as goods, suitcases, as toasters, fridges, what we brought. Um, took everything into his room. And then, you know, we've just got to stay in his rooms now until we get his COVID results. What's this obviously situation with your father? I know obviously Grant trains you. He's not only your father, but he trained you. Are you allowed to actually see people within your team until you get your results? Or do you have to kind of still isolate on your own? Yeah, we're all self-isolated until we get his results um, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then once we've got we've got our results, we can interact with whoever's in the hotel, but we can't actually leave the complex. So we're all just, we're all sat here like um, sitting ducks. <laughs> so obviously since, I know it's so early days as of yet, but what have you been doing to kind of try and help yourself pass the time? And how do you expect to try and take, take your mind off the fact that you're kind of stuck in your room for the coming days? To be honest, I brought my laptop, you know, like my phone. And um, to be honest, I don't mind sketching, like drawing and stuff. So I brought a little sketch pad, a little pencil, um, pencil kit. So I'll just be, I'll end up doodling on that um, later. You know, I feel like I'm back at school. <laughs> now, what about your father? Because I don't imagine your your old man's going to be somebody who's going to be chilling, watching Netflix uh, over the evenings on, on the horizon. Yeah, to be fair, on the way down, it's like, oh, have you got any new uh, Netflix films for me to watch? Because to be honest, my dad's he's used to always being on the go, especially on fight week. He's sorting everything out. And, you know, he can't sit still, even when he's at home. You know, he's he's, he's up and about, so I don't know how he's coping. <laughs> Um, obviously, you had to do your test on arrival as well. How did you find that? I know a few people have put videos out of when they've had test tests uh, from Frank Lauren shows. I don't think I've seen anything from a, a matchroom fighter as of yet. So, just talk to me about your own test. How did you find it? Well, to be, to be honest, it was quicker than I thought. You know, they put a few stubs, swabs in the back of my throat and then, you know, shoved them up, up, up my nose. But that wasn't very pleasant. Um, but yeah, it went too bad. Obviously, the reason, the main reason behind us doing this interview, as I mentioned, you know, you're fighting come Saturday night. One of the first men to return to the, the matchroom shows. Just talk to me about kind of how you found camp and leading up to Saturday night. Yeah, camp's just being as normal as anything, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously, we've had to do like one on one sessions and stuff, apart from like the sparring. But obviously, with us being professionals, we've been allowed to go in the gym. But to be honest, it's probably the best camp I've ever had, you know. I know every fighter says that, but you know, I'm the shape I'm in now. I've got obviously I've got Scott Robinson on board, the nutritionist, and you know my weight's good. I've never never felt this, you know. I've never done it as professional as this before, and you know I'm just I'm so excited for for fight night. I know that you know you'll be as close to as, as kind of an acceptable wait to be up a few days before fight night or before the weigh-in I should say as you can be but knowing you are kind of in quarantine and you're not able to train the way that you would do in a normal fight week how do you find, how do you think you will find kind of just tapering down those last couple of pounds or what have you that you may have just to kind of shave off to be honest once we've got all those results and stuff we've got set gym times you know they've set up a gym down here um, they've, we've got a gym set up so we can train in there um, especially the day before when we do the final weight cut. So, um, you know, I feel it's going to be all right. We're just going to have to take it as it comes, but it should, it should, we should be fine. What have you done differently in this camp that you haven't had to do previously, Dalton? Or what have you done in, in preparations for Nathan? To be honest, last year, because I was pretty active and then I had a couple of fights, what fell through, and then it was a quick turnover to get me on the next show. So my camps was like up and down. I weren't doing like a you know full 10-week ten, ten camp. So this is like my first, you know, actual experience of doing a, a real camp, you know, as, as a professional. And I think, obviously, in, in my conditioning, it's going to show. Um, and I've showed that on my Instagram and stuff like the, the shape I'm in. I'm in, a total, I'm in a much better shape now. And I've just been able to do, set things out and, you know, have a good structure to my, um, to my plan and my programme. And, you know, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I know when we last did our interview, you said you don't really tend to watch your opponent. You kind of leave that to your dad and to your team. But 
since then, obviously, a lot of time's passed. I'm sure you'll have some time on your hands now. Have you have you kind of looked into Nathan a bit more? Obviously, a step up from what you're used to facing as of yet. I've seen a few little kick clips, but to be honest, I said before they took all the fights off um, YouTube. So the clips I've seen are from a couple of years ago, and that, and obviously that doesn't mean anything. I know styles make fights, but you know I'm getting there, and you know I've got to suss him out. I don't know roughly how how he is now, but you know I've I've had that from the amateurs. I've boxed every fight I can adapt, and I'm just looking forward to it. I've, I'm feeling good. What are you expecting from Nathan on Saturday night? Um, what, how do you expect the fight to play out? You know, he's from what I've seen. Nathan's a good fighter, you know, and his record shows that. And you know he's going to come to win. This is a big occasion for him. You know, it's a win-win situation. But you know, I and I said it before. I believe there's levels to the game, and once you're in there, you know, you can have a plan. But from what I've had, the experience I've had in the past, I think that's just going to show from the first round. And once he's in there, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna realize. You know, no disrespect to him because. You know, he's coming to win, he's coming to, to show, but I'm just confident as soon as he gets in there, he's going to know that I'm at much level, levels above him. For as much of a step up as it will be, it's also a massive opportunity for yourself to kind of showcase your talents to a, a, another audience that's been starved of boxing for the past few months. Are, are you excited for that? Are you a little nervous at all? No, but I think that's what we're in the game for. You know, we need to build his profiles and, you know, you know, get you know, get your following even bigger. So that this is a you know one of the best opportunities to do it. Obviously, there's no fans there, but I'm hoping the viewing numbers are going to be big because you know the boxing fans that the striving for the for the for the boxing to be back. So you know, we'll wait and see. How do you feel your coat boxing without any fans in attendance? I don't think it will affect us to be honest. You know, and same for Nathan. We've not had the experience to be in the in the big arenas with the. You know, the big crowd, so I don't think it's going to be, um, affect us too much. So moving forwards, obviously, if you are successful on Saturday night, this is a step up uh, from what you're used to in the professional ranks. Are you going to feel the pressure to kind of continue to face people with a similar record to what Nathan has or a better record than what Nathan has at such an early stage of your career? Or do you feel you might go back to kind of what you were facing previously? You know, how do you expect it to play out? To be honest, not really. Cause you've got you've got to look at my age. You know, I'm only 23 at the minute, and professional boxing. You know, it's if you haven't got the experience, you're not learning. You're going to come unstuck. You know, I believe my abilities. You know, I'll achieve and be, I want to become a world world champion one day, and I believe in myself. But you know, you see a lot of young fighters. You know, they look like they're coming good, and they think, "Oh, I'm ready for the big time," but they haven't got that experience. You've got to be realistic with yourself. Listen to your team, and you know. Make make the right steps at the right time. Since you actually got to Fort Cam Dalton, have you had a chance to look around, or was it very strict in the manner of you get there, you go do your test, then straight to your room? Literally, I've seen one corridor in this room door. <laughs> <laughs> I've walked at one corridor and I was in my room. That's all I've seen up to now. Um, Dalton, uh, just to, just to move away from yourself, just get your thoughts on a couple of fights tomorrow night. Firstly, the headline fight, a lot of excitement Saturday night. for that. In fact, <laughs> saying, tomorrow night, I don't know why. Obviously, Saturday night, uh, big big fight which many people are looking forward to. Sam Eggington versus Ted Cheeseman. Many are thinking it's going to be a war. Are you seeing it like that? How do you expect that fight to play out? You know, on paper, it looks like it's going to be an entertaining fight, and you know, it's a it's a fight a boxing fan's dream. Them them two styles, you know, I think they're going to clash, and it's going to be a you know possibly it's in running for the fight of the year on paper. So you know, they're both good fighters, both both great lads, and you know, may the best man win. I'm looking forward to to watching it. Let's see if I can. <laughs> oh, two seconds. No worries. We're um, back on. Yeah, back now. Um, is there anybody you favour in that fight? Anybody you lean towards? Um, to be honest, if I had to pick, I'd go with Cheeseman, just with him being the younger and, f and fresher um, fighter. You know, you, you look at Eggington, he's, at, he's, at, he's got quite a few miles on his clock now, but, you know, I think, I just think Cheeseman is the, is the fresher, younger man, and I think that'll put, um, you know, come into play in the later rounds. Dalton, the other fight I just want to get your thoughts on is the one between James Tennyson and Gavin Gwynn. Just again, just put your thoughts on that one. Oh, we're going off again. Am I there? Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, again, that's another good fight. You know, they're all good fights. Um, you know, you see Gavin out when he was against Cordina. You know, Gavin's a good boxer. 
um, and he's a he's a big lightweight. And then Tennyson, he's he's a big puncher, and you know he, he carries power in both hands. So you know, I think if Gavin can stick to his boxing, um, you know, he could come away with a win there. But then Tennyson, he's got the power, so can he keep him off uh, the the full twelve rounds? Well, and final question, which I forgot to ask you earlier on, just with regards to your pre preparations uh, heading into Saturday night, when the fight was announced, we were still kind of in a, a stricter phase of lockdown. We've had it ease since, but how have you found kind of getting sparring partners that would either have a similar style to what Nathan will bring to you on Saturday night or just something which can obviously give you enough to work off for, and give you good enough sparring to prepare? Yeah, you know, I've had a variety of different opponents, you know, tall, small. It was going to replicate what uh, Nathan does from the clips, what I have seen. Um, so I've just had to mix it up with all different styles and, you know, them coming at me with different different styles. So, um, to be honest, it's, it's been all right. I've had some good sparring partners and, you know, I'm feeling good. Well, Dalton, Dalton, I will allow you to leave. Uh, leave. I will leave you now to enjoy the rest of your <laughs> evening. I'm sure you'll probably try and find something to keep yourself entertained. It's been a pleasure to catch up, mate. Best of luck, obviously, with yeah. the rest of this week and fight night. And I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Yeah. Yeah, thank you.